Hi, I'm Andy with Mizu Pool Covers. Today we're going to be talking about the CoverStar Hydraulic Power Pack and how to troubleshoot it. So we've got it wired up to power now, 220, 220, 240 volts. So I'll just go ahead and run it in both directions. We've got one direction and our other direction. So one of the biggest complaints we have with this power pack is that it will only run in one direction. And so today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot what the problem could be if it is only operating in one direction or possibly neither um, it does not operate in either direction. I'll show you how to troubleshoot the solid state relay and the solenoid to determine if it could be either one of those problems. So the tools needed to do this are just a screwdriver, doesn't matter what kind, and a voltmeter. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the voltmeter to connect it to both sides of the solenoid to determine that we're getting our 240 volts. And I'll show you how to do that now. So uh, with power off, um, we're going to connect one side of the solenoid, your yellow wire with all of its wires to one side of the, the other wires with the solenoid. You're gonna want one side of your lead to the solenoid with the blue and then the other side to the solenoid, the other solenoid with the black. This is going to show you um, if the solenoid is good or bad. Okay, I've got my power back on and it's showing you just random volts. Now, when I go to operate in one direction, right now it doesn't matter what direction, I'm just looking to see that one direction of the two gives us 240, 220 to 240 volts. So that direction doesn't, but this direction should. And that's our 200, 210, 212, and that's okay. Showing that shows that in the close direction, I have 240 volts through this, which means that that is good. I, um, I will now show you how to troubleshoot the solenoid um, to see that if it's good or bad. So to troubleshoot the solenoid, first you're gonna, you're gonna remove its permanent post just by taking this nut off. Um, I've already loosened it, and it may require you to loosen this right here just so you can get access, so it'll be loose enough for you to pull that off, okay? When you get it to this point, you can put the screwdriver in here, and you can see that it's in there really loose, right? And in order to see if this is working, you're just going to go ahead and operate it in that same direction that was giving you 220 volts. In our case, it was the closed, closed I'm sorry, open direction. And what'll happen is, is this will magnetize and the screwdriver will lock against the side. And you can see that it has. It's locked in there. So that's showing you that the solenoid is good and it's magnetizing against the post. If you are still having issues with it only running one direction once you've troubleshot those two, it is likely in your oil lines. And what it, what it is is some debris um, has gotten in and is stuck in the valve that the post is trying to pull to the other direction. So what you'll need to do is um, get that line through. Sometimes you'll you just run it really hard and it'll go, pull through, but we need to either change our oil lines or, um, or add more oil to get that through. Um, but that is all the troubleshooting needed for this to determine that the parts are good on this. If you have any more questions about the power pack, please reach out to your Mizu Pool Covers representative.